and it's off to Oregon we go. It's been a real nice stay. Hey, you do, baby. You having fun? We walked over there and looked yeah, at the... Yeah, it's a real pretty place to walk. I remember that. You remember it, Scooters? We stayed here before, a couple of years ago. We were here way early and we'll see if they're going to let us uh, go ahead and set up the camp. Check in at 1 o'clock. It's like 11.30. We'll see. She's a talker. They let you check in? She's a talker, not a listener. She did what? She's a talker, not a listener. <laughs> Well, that's very good. Right down here. I'm this one right here. Oh, do it. I'm going to tell a little story on myself. A few days ago, our water heater went out. It just stopped working. I checked everything. Breakers, set buttons, everything I could think of is why the water heater would stop working. And this panel here, I took it off three times, hitting the reset button inside here. I could not get the water heater to work. On propane, our electricity. I could not figure out what it was. I'm very familiar with motorhomes. I replaced an Atwood water heater with a Bosch residential water heater. So I know about water heaters and RVs. The problem is, is that isn't the water heater. That's the furnace. That's not the water heater. The water heater is there and all it was was a fuse uh, that uh, goes to the uh, thermostat. <laughs> anyway, I don't know. Way to the uh, west coast of Oregon. We stopped here at La Grande Hot Springs RV Resort, about 130 miles from Boise. We were here two years ago and uh, we're back. It's really a nice RV park. You can see the scenery behind me, all these parking spaces all pull-throughs and they can handle just about any size rig but I'm going to show you some of this park around here it, uh, it's really a pretty good place pretty nice place today it's hot it's July the 6th quite hot but it's not humid here and I don't even know what the temperature is because I actually like it hot the little town of La Grande just a little bit down the road I just like to do a an RV park review whenever I stay at one that I think is worthy of it. And this one certainly is. There's a hundred pull-through sites here. It's real quiet. There's no trains, planes, no loud street noise. Amenities here. And they got the, the office there. It's supposed to be pretty nice inside. I haven't been in there. <laughs> but uh, we'll take a look here. That's a real nice place to walk your dogs. It's actually Hot Springs. Here there's a lake called Hot Springs Lake right down the road here, but here, got you to release. This is supposed to be 165 degrees. Swim pool over here is supposed to be fed with the Hot Springs if I have that right. Over here, we can see how well it's kept. You got great views, nice place here. Sit back and relax, take it easy. Got all the cattails. Hitchhiking in the wind. Nice big places you can pull your rigs in, any size rig. And there's a little park that goes on around. Do you remember this? Remember this? Yes, I do remember it. Yeah. Now what we have here is something that looks very similar to the choke cherry and the choke berry. The choke berry grows in the south with the choke cherry grows in this part of the neighborhood. But this is called a golden currant, this particular little berry. Now you can eat them, but they're, they're, they're not sweet. These matured a little quicker. <laughs> I know we'll forget that. It's used in uh, jellies and pie. They do. Yeah. I that I hadn't heard. I'm gonna make some jelly, currant jelly. Currant jelly. Now look, they're not sweet like the. Uh, it. uh, it's not bad. I can taste it. Tastes like a green plum to me. Not too bad, is mm -mm. it? That'd be good. 
Make some. Put some pie. Make a pie. Yeah, sure, I'll take a pie. Want a pie? <laughs> And no trespassing. That's the hot. Oh.